technically I didn't choose this field. This field chose me. Um, I feel like it's more of a calling. I feel like it's more of a ministry that both my wife and I get to participate in by giving back to the community and helping folks that uh, cannot care for themselves for one and also are particularly uh, possibly homeless and need placement. Hey, my name is James Clark. I'm the owner and administrator of J Homes Inc. Incorporated and Clark Family Residential Inc. What I do here, I oversee uh, the day-to-day -day operations of the organization and I also handle all of the finance finances for the organization. My name is Kim Clark and I am the co-owner of J Homes and Clark Family Residential. Um, I handle all the aspects of human resources uh, from hiring to termination. Um, and so that's, that's basically what I'm here. So a typical day-to-day -day here at J Homes Inc. and Clark Family Residential uh, looks like caring for individuals who can't particularly care for themselves. So let me describe who we are. We are an agency that cares for folks with uh, special needs. And so it takes a special person to, to be able to deliver those type of services to the individuals we serve. We literally started the process back in 2005. We opened up our doors in 2007. We started receiving our, our residents at that time. We had one residential care facility for seven years. We decided to stay with one until we understood or knew that it was a time for growth. Um, so after 2013, I believe it was, we opened up our second home. And as of today, we have four homes. Just being an employer, being able to provide jobs for people that need employment and providing stability um, for people. Uh, in this day and age, there's not a lot of companies that stay in business for more than three to five years. And, and fortunately, we've been able to stay in business now since 2007 and it's now 2023. So that puts a smile on my face. The one thing is not just a person or a thing. It's, it, I can just pinpoint it to this. It's knowing that people are getting the help that they need, which is the residents. And two, the staff are, one, receiving their paychecks, but they're being rewarded for the job that they do.